Hi friends, as you know, January is the month of awareness for cancer cervix and 4th February is the day of World Cancer Day. So let us talk today something about cancer cervix. All over world, 6 lakh new cases of cancer cervix are detected every year and 60% that means 3.5 lakh women die of cancer cervix every year. In India, 1.25 lakh new cases are detected every year of cancer cervix and 65 percent that is 77,000 out of these die every year. So it's a huge burden and this is preventable. So that is the importance of this disease. Why we should talk about this disease and learn about this disease in detail. Off to out of the world, 22 percent of burden is in India. That means 22 percent of the newly detected cases and the cancer deaths occur in India. Peak age of incidence is 50 to 59 years in India whereas it is 35 to 44 years in developed countries. The diagnosis is made at a little later stage in India. Almost 32% cases are detected at early stage and 68% are detected at a later age and that is why we have a low 5 year survival rate that is only 46% in India whereas in developed countries like USA 5 year survival rate is as high as 66%. And that is why the importance of early diagnosis and prevention in India is more crucial. So friends, let us know what aspects of the cancer cervix make it a preventable disease. Do we know the cause? Yes. Unlike other cancers, we know that HPV, that is human papilloma virus, is responsible for these cases in almost 99% of the cases. Do we have something to prevent it? Yes. Friends, we have HPV vaccine that is human papilloma virus vaccine available with us since many years and this can help us a lot in preventing this cancer cervix. What is the location of this organ? The cervix is located at the lower end of the uterus and therefore it can be inspected, sampled through per speculum examination and it can be easily treated also. Do we have screening available for this? Yes. We have screening methods like cytology or pap smear. Then we have visual inspection with acetic acid application of the cervix and we have colposcopy. So these four screening methods are available for early diagnosis of cancer cervix. Do we have treatment options available? Yes. For precancerous lesions, we have something to freeze or something to burn. We have treatment for cancer developed case condition. Also, we have treatment for that in the form of surgery or radiotherapy. Now, do we have follow-up available after treatment? Yes, we can do clinical examination, cytology that is pap smear studies and radiological studies after we have treated the cancer cervix and there or precancerous lesion and therefore follow-up is also easily available. So, that is how this cervix cancer is different from other cancers and that is why it is more important to prevent it or early diagnosis and treat it. Almost 99% of the cases as I already told is because of HPV virus. HPV virus has many genotypes. Almost more than 200 varieties of genotypes are available. Out of that, 16 and 18 genotype are responsible for 76% of the cancer of cervix and there are other 7 types like 31, 33, 45, 52, 58, these are the varieties, genotypes which are responsible for 19% of the cases. So, overall these 7 genotypes are uh, responsible for majority of the cases of cancer cervix. And HPV genotypes number 6 and 11 are less or low risk viruses and these are responsible mainly for lower enogenital virus. So, do we know who are at higher risk of developing cancer cervix? Yes. So, there are certain behavioral risk factors like early age at marriage, early age at first intercourse that is coitarchy, number of deliveries that means multiparity, multiple sexual partners, use of tobacco in any form and dietary deficiencies. These are the behavioral risk factors which we, which we know about. What are the medical risk factors? If a person is immunocompromised, like HIV positive person, she is more at risk of developing CSLX. If there is immunosuppression because of 
long term corticosteroids she is also more responsible if a woman takes oral contraceptive pills for prolonged duration without supervision then also she is at more risk infection of the cervix with high risk hpv virus and inadequate screening for precancerous lesions all these factors are responsible demographic risk factors low socio economic status increasing age these are important risk whether cancer cervix can be prevented yes how do watch my other videos on youtube channel thank you so much